where we live and it's so hot it's unrelenting heat it's like when it was midnight and 1am it's still hot like just don't realise how drunk you're getting don't realise how happy you are it takes away from the festival a little bit but there's Naked Ruby and uh, we found Bartek in the end he's just taken our water bottle and uh, yeah met up, with some, met up with some awesome people yesterday it's just unrelenting heat all day um, really really exhausting makes you really grouchy for no reason um, we all snap at each other but it's just the heat <laughs> it's so hard to do this um, we're meant to go out last night come here passed out <laughs> it's just mad absolutely mad it's so so unrelentingly hot slowly waking up in this heat it's hard isn't it it's really really hard um, makes enjoying the festival a lot harder I wouldn't say enjoying it it makes just n navigating it thinking yeah but it's not like download cold where you could still like it's freezing here it's still hot so you could do shorts no shirt the whole time it's just I, 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 you can't compare the seat with anything in English just unrelenting we've done what two litres of water already this morning pretty much there we go Grass pot. Bartek. We'll have a little wander over to Bartek. Not a morning person. And not a hot person either. How are you? Where did you go last night? I just went to the party club. It's actually massive. Like those people are party tent. Should have known. It's about an hour ago. I gave Ruby that um, blanket to put on the floor, so you, that's as far as it got. <laughs> it's that hot, you literally can't function. Um, it's taken me like an hour to just sort the batteries out for the camera. Like, we don't function well in this heat. It sounds really silly, doesn't it? But everything takes that little bit longer. My brain just don't work, like, in this heat. It just does not work at all. So, um... I hope it comes across on camera, but trying to just function to any level is that little bit harder. Trying to think about stuff to do, film, even go to see the bands that you want to see. It's hard, really hard. About to top up using this QR code reader. We scan that, we click this, and now I've got to buy some more Scullies. So it comes up with the wristband that is mine. It says it there. Excuse me, absolutely knackered. We translate pounds to euros, euros to scullies, so we can actually go and get drunk. So we pick the amount. What do we think? 70 probably. So uh, 20 scullies, 70 euros. So we all pay for each other at some point. We all buy each other drinks, food, whatever. It all evens out. Um, credit card. It remembers my cards, which I can't show you. Unfortunately, I don't remember my cards, so I can't remember which one I need to use. There we go. There we go. Oh, and now I've got an 8.6% beer given to me by Bartek. <laughs> <laughs> for breakfast. <laughs> yeah, cheers Bartek. <laughs> now we got 20 scullies to go and play with. And I'm going to enjoy my 8.6% beer for breakfast. 
this guy. What was the best bit for you yesterday, mate? That's bad. Yeah. I was crowd surfing too much. What, you crowd surfed? Yeah. Yeah. There's some guy with blood all over his face. Oh, fuck me. What was that? What do you think of the beers? Weird having half cups, isn't it? Yeah, but they're strong. Yeah. That's why if you want bigger beers, just go further down. So we can still have big beers here. We finally got the fish and chips that they told us to do at download. Yeah, I feel no different. I'm not joining that church of fucking idiots. <sighs> what an advert that was. So, so far, um, we haven't really left the tent. Um, it's been difficult. Ruby's had a shower. Bartek is Bartek. And we're talking about how much a gram of Bartek bogeys would cost because it would get you annihilated. <laughs> How much, like, we'll put that in the comments. How much would you give for a gram of Bartek bogeys? <laughs> so we're working out where we're going to go next holiday. Oh, yeah. No, Iceland is good, but it's just so expensive. <laughs> but it's very cheap to get there, like, 30 quid or some shit. Yeah. yeah. Bartek went there and ate a sheep's head. <laughs> Weird paid as well. Like. What did, uh, where did you get the sheep's head from? It was, like, the airport or something. <laughs> Like, ate, a, <laughs> ate a sheep's head in yeah, an airport. Yeah, every single little cafe. It's like a, yeah, it's a common dish there, and then they have all their like fermented shark and whale <laughs> fucking meat, like weird shit. And Ruby paid seven quid for a cucumber. <laughs> yeah, I remember being in the supermarket and just being like, what the fuck? Everything was crazy again, expensive. Like fruit, because they can't grow anything, it's all imported, so it's so expensive. Seven pounds for a cucumber <laughs> or airport sheep's head. Yeah. <laughs> I'll put a poll there, <laughs> you can vote on what you'll do. You can't buy alcohol in supermarkets. Yeah, they got strict laws on that. Yeah, yeah. so we're, when we're at the airport, we have to buy all our alcohol because they don't sell it like just in towns and in shops and supermarkets. I think like so, every Nordic country is like that. Actually. Yeah. Like I went to um, Norway, like obviously, like last year, Alex yeah. and stuff, and I was like, double JD and Coke, all right. They're not in London. Yeah, like, it's oh, so expensive. Like, it's illegal to have doubles. Yeah, you know that? yeah. Well, it was illegal for me to have a fucking single yesterday at the Jim Beam bar when that bitch rubbed me. But they, I'm, it's weird here, isn't it? They don't have any like vodka or like. Nothing. Well, yeah, kind of. They, don't, they just have like so, loads of soft drinks, mm. loads of beers, mm. and Jim Beam. <laughs> no I'm like, vodkas. can I have a vodka, please? And like, fuck off. <laughs> yeah, hang yourself. <laughs> Bring my own. <laughs> car run. We're gonna go back, get some more beer. Cause we got another two crates there. We naturally drank the first crate straight away. We need to do a car run now. And we're gonna do a car run, and then Snaggletooth Motorhead tribute. Yeah. Well, sort of. And, and I, uh, I have to direct you back to the car because you. Yeah, because we're too fucking stupid. Yeah. <laughs> we'll be forest here. people. Well, three hours later. In the woods. <laughs> I got raped in the woods. <laughs> It would have. So we have our path back. They got rid of all the tents that were here. <laughs> so now we can actually get back to where we live. <laughs> um, that was weird yesterday. Suddenly we're walking back and the path that we were using as a guide was not a path. <laughs> so now we can find our way back to camp. Yeah, I saw them moving a tent down earlier. Like, we saw them moving the ones on the sides, one, but yeah. yeah, that was weird. No, um, that dug it down the whole thing. Like Ruby, Ruby was just saying, like uh, we're walking past camps and stuff, and they're making salads and things for the morning. <laughs> <laughs> like even the like just Europeans for us, like it's all totally new. They're it's all, all healthy. Yeah, everyone's like, I've walked past so many people with like a nice little chopping board, cutting up like, <laughs> like peppers, what? cucumbers. <laughs> like, like try that at download, man. Yeah. <laughs> like even bloodstock won't do different. that. Like in terms of etiquette. Yes. Like, very civilized. It's, it makes you feel really uncultured knowing one language and having absolutely no manners. <laughs> like, it's so good, honestly, it's really good. <laughs> like, toilets in the queue. Like, it was such a big thing at download when there was no toilets anywhere in the queue that you was in for like, what, hours? Oh, this way? Oh, I was gonna go straight in there. 
<laughs> well, thank you, darling. Ruby saves the day. Almost there. We made it. I haven't seen one other English car, like or number plate. We've got Belgium, I think Dutch, maybe DK, whatever the fuck that is. NL, I still don't know. France, DK, Denmark. Denmark. What's NL then? Netherlands. Netherlands. What's D? Germany. <laughs> I'm definitely uh, in need of a European tour to get some culture, man. I'm pretty fucking stupid, it seems. Belgium. Yep, I got that one. <laughs> <laughs> so it's a good thing that Bartek remembered all his leather jackets just in case he was a bit cold. I think we, how many leather jackets we got here? About five. Three. Three leather jackets there. A spare one in here. What we got down there? A whiskey. In case it gets a bit cold. In 35, I think. Where's he gone? 35 degree heat and he brings five leather jackets. <laughs> so they we say as we're walking back into camp, I got my Uber bag on. From the first lot of videos I actually did on YouTube, really. I've gone over 100 videos now and I weren't really expecting to do that. I'm more embarrassed about the Uber videos because I didn't know anything about filming. I still do not, but I'm more comfortable filming this sort of stuff. I'm in my environment rather than just fucking about through COVID boredom. Um, them videos, man, they were absolute hell to shoot. But yeah, still got the bag. It comes in handy for these festival things. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely love that. Is that yours? Lucky, love it. No beers chucked in there. People respect this place. They're not interested. Are they asleep? Oh, there is a baby one. Hey, buddy. <laughs> He's going to fart at you, Bartek. <laughs> past these things and I can't get my head around it every tent or something there's a different language going on such an event for these people you know um, we are spoiled with what we got like with uh, download we are spoiled we take it for granted but it's such an event for these guys by the looks of it so cool Yeah, everything in here now is boiling. Like that's touching my back and it's actually hurting. Like it's so hot, you can't be on the floor properly. We're running late. Um, hopefully we'll get in there. We're meant to meet Timmy. Uh, a guy from YouTube. Uh, we've been talking for a little bit and pretty much the exact reason why we're here on his recommendation. He talked it up, said that uh, it gave me literally every piece of information I needed. And yeah, I can't say enough good things about this guy <laughs> so far. And uh, yeah, we're on our way to meet him for Snaggletooth, um, which we're late for. So uh, we'll try, we'll try. And we're in uh, day two of the festival. So good, man. Even with the weather. Woo! I reckon if they turn that on fast enough, it'll cool us down. Maybe.
Want ik heb iets aan hier zijn, het plaats ook aan jou moeten gaan doen. Cheers van de Pagelis! Zo sick, having an air conditioned tent. And what are you going to do? That's, that's uh, Bartek kicking us around here. Shoot you in the back! Oh, you know, yeah. The hardest thing with these wrist tags, you can't give your mate your card to go and get you a drink. Like, that's full of bullshit, isn't it? It's so hard. It's intent. <laughs> <laughs> struggling like uh, she's white like she's white as fuck she's burning look at this like actually you're turning red darling you're turning red you're turning red Bartek is Bartek he don't even notice when he burns like you can put him in the sun and he won't even notice that he's on fire like it's Bartek <laughs> Normally, but the safety issues that can come with 
this bullshit. That was a very, very, very good example of how good this festival is compared to that, because that would have been fucked. There's a bigger picture to all of this fucking moaning and ranting and raving and all that bullshit. You know, people first, band second, party time, you know, etc. People first. And uh, that was very, very, very close to being a bad thing. Huh? How are you feeling now? I see airborne I think it was in Poland and uh, I was with Bartek I took Bartek and Joe to Poland and uh, it cost me like five grand in hotel room damage <laughs> so one day I'll let you all in on the rest of that story it won't be today because we're at a festival but they're motherfuckers um, yeah the hotel died and uh, yeah Maybe, maybe I'll post the footage because this is before YouTube and I filmed everything for, you know, personal memories. But yeah, that was the last time we saw Airborne. And uh, yeah, about five grand in hotel damage. Cunts. So we're walking back to camp, we're leaving Hayfree, uh, Fintroll. And uh, we're gonna walk back to camp, have a couple of beers before Behemoth. Hopefully find Bartek and uh, watch our favorite band pretty much. So uh, we got a little while to just sort of get our shit together and uh, then we can party. So bumped into our neighbors from yesterday, our Swedish lovely people. Yeah, lovely. Look at this. They just given me this for Ruby because Ruby's suffering. So they give me this pill that goes in here, that does this, and now Ruby will be fixed. <laughs> <laughs> and now, now we're going to see Behemoth all as a family. <laughs> Poor Ruby. <laughs> right, pop back to the tent. I went to get some links. It's so hot, it doesn't even work. Like, it's, like, you can't hold, like, you literally can't hold it. I'm no pussy with this stuff. And that's not a stash can. That's a real one. Like, it's literally so hot, you can't even touch it. Everything in it is baking. The hydration that Ruby is devouring, because it's nice, right? Are you fixed because of our Swedish medicine? Yeah. I've got Swedish whiskey. It's Irish whiskey, but you know, medicine all the same. Tastes like boiling water. Woo! Boiling. It's been in that sun. Everything in here is ridiculously hot. So, 